Welcome again, Transformer fans. I've got a few things to show you, and um, why don't we get right into it, all right? I've got some Masterpiece Transformers to show you, that's right. And the first one I've got to show you is Masterpiece number six, Skywarp. I got in a bunch of these things, I swear, just a day after I made my last video. And so I figured I would wait until I had some free time to make these things, but now, you know what? I've got them. So let's get to it. All right, now this one is obviously just a repaint of Starscream, but it does have one thing that Starscream does not have, and that's a different expression. If you have the, uh, the Masterpiece Starscream, either the Dakar release, which is the green one, or the US release, which is the traditional G1 colors, Starscream, has this smirk on his face that looks like this. But um, our friend Skywarp here has an expression that looks like this. Yeah, that's the one thing they changed about it. So you basically paid uh, an extra 80 bucks to get a black star screen with a slightly different expression. Anyhow, that's what we've got for you right there with uh, Skywarp. Move on to the next one. Masterpiece number seven. Yeah, it's another Starscream repaint. This one is Thundercracker. With yet another exception. Yeah, another facial expression. So, basically you pay an extra, uh, let's say, 80, 90 bucks, whatever, to get another Starscream with a facial expression that looks like this. Yeah. But you know what? If you want to complete your collection, if you want to have a really kick-ass display of Masterpiece Transformers, then that's something you're going to have to do. You're going to have to put out the bucks. And me, since I have the money, I don't mind. However, last but not least, I have this. Yeah. Masterpiece 8, Grimlock. Yeah, the head Dinobot. Anyhow, why don't I pull this out and show you some of the, uh, the cool things it comes with. This one is not a repaint of Starscream, okay? I promise you. Okay. So here we've got Grimlock. And when you pull it out and you look at it, I, at least, was a rather surprised at how small the robot mode was. I'm sure the uh, the Dinobot mode is larger. You know, you, if you know me, then you know I haven't taken this thing out and transformed it yet. But anyhow, I was surprised at just how short this guy is. But uh, you know what? I'm sure that all the features definitely make up for it. Let's go in a bit closer here. Huh? Now this guy... He's got these red eyes. Um, on the box, it shows them with red eyes and blue eyes, so perhaps you can change the color there. He's got this sword here that lights up. Yeah, the blade there lights up. Same thing with the gun. Here's his double barrel gun that you've seen so many times in some of my other reviews. Double barrel gun there. The, uh, the end of the barrels light up. Here we've got, you know, a little bow tie and an apron and then you got like all these glasses and decanters of well I guess you could say liquid energon but I'm just gonna go ahead and say alcoholic energon whatever you know it's uh, it's from a, a tape TV episode where Grimlock had to wear an apron and a bow tie and serve up stuff um, here's also um, this, uh, this this stand here right here the silver disc and this thingy here on this long pipe here that is supposed to be a, a headpiece for Grimlock in Dinobot mode when they're trying to increase his intelligence. You can see on the box right here, there he is. They're trying to increase, increase his intelligence, control him, whatever. You know, he's got the open closing jaws, the tail moves, the, the head moves. 
you know, he, there he is. He's got, you know, the, the apron, the bow tie, and he's serving stuff up. And there's the sword lighting up, the gun lighting up, and there's the, uh, the red and the blue eyes. So anyhow, that's basically all I've got for you right now. Join me again shortly, and I'll have something new for you. This is me signing off.